my channel so for today's video I have another mukbang for you guys and I also have a story time video for you guys um, as of right now I don't really know what we're gonna talk about yet but I just know I have a lot of story time videos that I've been wanting to tell you guys um, and just kind of like chit chat with you just so that it's not like too boring um, so if you guys can tell by the title it is going to be a sushi mukbang so um, to just start out for the video I am gonna show you guys what I did pick up um, I get my sushi at Jinky Sushi here in Hawaii. I feel like it's the best sushi here. Um, I have not, I've had, I think I've tried like one other place and it wasn't really that good. Um, yeah, it was, definitely wasn't that good. There was like maybe like one or two things that I liked, but everything else was kind of like, meh, it wasn't that good. Um, so the first thing that I did get was this green bean I totally forgot what it is, but if I don't remember the names of the um, of the food, then I will uh, let you guys, uh, I will put on the screen what it is. So this is just what it looks like. It normally comes with a mayo sauce on the top, but I don't like it, so I got it without. Um, I'm trying to do better of showing the actual food. Uh, so, like, professional, I haven't quite got the best setup yet because I really don't know how to like do it yet um so just forgive me I don't do these often enough to you know um and then I got a three piece of gyoza I think that's how you say it um it's just like a fried wonton with like meat inside of it it's super good and then it comes with this like sauce that's like barely that much I don't know why they do that um so we're gonna stick that right there. Kind of like, I don't even really, maybe if I cut it. I don't have scissors though. Oh my God, you guys. Okay, that works. And then I did get some spicy edamame. That almost fell. And then I did get a spicy tuna. Um, this is poke. Just comes with the rice. It's so good. I'm gonna put this like right here. And then I also did get a deep fried California roll. This is so good. Um, some pieces are missing because I gave some to my daughter. And then I did also get some miso soup. And to drink, I have, of course, Dr. Pepper, which is my favorite. Actually, open that now. I have to use a tweezer because uh, your girl is not trying to break a nail, you know? Um, I also did have a straw. But I don't really know where it's at. I have my uh, chopsticks, soy sauce, and wasabi. So I have this little bowl right here that I'm actually going to, um, it's my soup, uh, mix the wasabi and the soy sauce. So yeah, anyways, um, I hope you guys have something good to eat with me as well. Oh shit, I just spill everywhere. I was actually going to make fajitas, but then my husband was like, I don't want to eat fajitas. So he got Buffalo Wild Wings, and me and the kids got sushi. So I guess it worked out because I was, I've been wanting to film a mukbang, uh, sushi mukbang for a while. Um, I actually wish I would have gotten more things because I feel like it's way more exciting doing a sushi mukbangs when there's a lot of stuff. Um, but I really am not that hungry but yeah so i think i filmed a video um uh filmed a while ago and a few of you and i told you guys that i had a really funny story it's like a little short story so there's gonna be like a few stories in this video because i don't have like a really long one um um i have to taste it yeah i think that's good Okay, so I'm gonna eat this first. This is the California roll and it has this like spicy sauce on it. It's so good. Mm. 
Let's be real. I never can fit the whole sushi in my mouth. That was a lot. It's really good. There's that. I love these. These are so good. Yo, what are you doing? Are you recording yourself eating? Wow, I'm a loser. Damn, who does that? I'm filming a mukbang, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Stupid. What a dumbass, huh? Anyways. That was you. Get out of here. This is my mukbang. No, you're not eating nothing. Goodbye. part of it. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. You froze with the sushi in your mouth. Wow, what a loser. Take a bite. No. It's a bite. No. Ow. Get out. I'm trying to bite. No, you. I asked you if you want to eat I gave you some wings. Some wings. No. Wow, what a loser. It's not dumb. Because people do have fun. Am I supposed to be embarrassed? Yeah. You don't eat those anyways. Okay, again. Ah! Dirty ass on it. Let me do it by myself then. I will do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. Stop. Okay. I need chopsticks. I can't do it with this spoon. No. Mm, this is delicious. Yeah, I'm going to share this way. I got it. Okay, there. Eat it. Goodbye. He acts like he doesn't eat. Oh, mix the poke. Oh, so I mentioned in another video, I think I was talking about like my car or something. And um, I was said that if I ever did um, um, a QA and a or something, that I would tell you guys how I got my new car. Um, I got it like a year ago, but um, to me, it's like still new. I love miso soup. It's so good. Um, but yeah, so the story goes a little bit like this. Um, so we were, uh, me and the kids have been inside like all weekend, all week. Haven't really done anything. I think it was like a Saturday or a Sunday. Um, I wanted to go and do something. Um, so like I bribed my husband to let us go to the zoo. So we get ready and everything, like, we're, like, set on going to the zoo, right? And he kept complaining, saying he really didn't want to go to the zoo. And my old car, I had gotten into an accident. Um, everybody was fine. Um, I got into an accident, and then I had gotten money for the car. Cause it was a total it was deemed a total loss or something like that so then um bitch stop fucking with me tony Fuck up. <laughs> you're so beautiful when you eat <laughs> leave me alone Fuck. anyways so what was i saying i forgot i was saying tony for leave me alone <laughs> Um, damn it, now I forgot. This fucker is bugging the shit out of me, annoying me. Okay, I guess you're walking to go get a car tomorrow. On my son, watch. Leave me alone, Tony, for real, stop! Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so he, so yeah, so I ruined that car, then I got money and I bought a Jeep, an older Jeep, and I love that. It kind of looks like the old school, like, um, what was it? Like the old school Range Rovers, like that's like kind of the body of it, which is why I liked it, because obviously my broke ass cannot afford a Range Rover, so why not buy a car that looks like it, you know? For cheaper. That's right, you broke ass. Oh, I'm sorry. My husband's broke ass because he's the one to pay the bills. Anyways, and so I bought that car, 
And that car, like, would literally, like, it was running good, right? We got it from, like, another military member. Um, that car ran fine. And then all of a sudden, one time I was in the McDonald's drive-thru, right? There's, like, it's, like, packed. And my car just turns off. And one of the remotes, it was, like, a remote, like, a, to start the car. And um, it didn't work. So I was thinking maybe it has something to do with that, like, because that's broken or whatever. Um, because then I fixed it. And then it worked. So, yeah. But I was stuck in that drive through I could not get my car to turn on. It, like, just turned off and I couldn't move. And the lady was, like, looking at me, like, uh, are you going to move your car? And I was, like, yeah. I was, like, I might need somebody in there to, like, push my car out the drive through I was, like, because it just turned off and I can't turn it back on. So, she's, like, looking at me like she's, like, dumbfounded, like, not knowing what to do. And I'm just, like, like, you know, hello. Like, you know, did you hear me? And then, um, like, I don't think she kind of understood what had happened. So, I took the key out, and then I'd, like, try to turn it again. It didn't work. Then I waited a few more minutes, and then I finally got it to turn on, and I was, like, finally. So then I just kind of, like, rolled out the drive through because <clears throat> I finally had gotten it. And I was, like, oh, my God, it was so embarrassing because there was, like, you know, like I said, like a line behind me. Um, okay, I'm going to try one of these. Um, oh, these are, like vegetable ones um they don't have meat in them and these are also the fried ones because there's the fried and the not fried i actually prefer the ones that aren't fried they're better but these are still good um so yeah so finally i got i got home so i was like shit like we're gonna have to get a new car eventually so back to my story so it was they were supposed to go to the zoo right my husband was driving and he was all like oh let's go to the mall inside of the zoo i don't want to go walking around and he man 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 you know Whatever. And it wasn't because of me. For me, it was for the kids. And, you know, my husband being the way he is, he's being selfish and just wanted to think about himself. So, um, he was like, no, I really don't want to go to the zoo. So, we were literally, like, halfway there, right? And this is the Honolulu Zoo. So, it's the only zoo on island, obviously. And we were like, he was like, oh, and we were, like, stuck in traffic, too, because it was, like, around 4... It was around like, no, it was around like two. So it was like traffic right right at that time. And then um, we were like in traffic. He's like, okay, let's go. How about we go? Um, he was like naming all this shit. Like, how about we go to the mall? And I'm like, no, we don't need to be spending money. And he's like, how about we go to this place? How about we go to this? And then he's like, okay, let's go to the dealership and we'll go look at new cars. And I was like, um, no. And he was like, yep, yep, that's where we're going to go. So this idiot drove to the actual jeep dealership and he's like yeah you could go look at the jeeps because i've been saying that um i wanted a jeep and originally i wanted the rubicon but with kids obviously that's really not ideal i kind of wanted like a bigger car and what made me mad about the whole situation is that the jeep that i actually had gotten i wish i would have like waited longer um because then i could have gotten the car that i actually um so the yeah so i could have gotten here's the gyoza i mean the edamame Hmm. I've never tried it from there, but it's really good. Um. Oh, damn, it is spicy. I asked the girl if it was spicy. She said it wasn't that spicy. That shit is definitely spicy. Uh, so, yeah. So, then we pull up. And we looking around. And then this and that. And then I saw my car. I saw the car that I wanted. So, first we test drive a normal one. And this car was uh, 32000 and um, I had had a car, I had bought a new car before, um, but it, like we messed up, um, we missed some payments, you know, when we were younger, we were first married, we missed the payments and actually got repoed right before my son was born, which really sucks, um, so that's what happened to that, I'm not embarrassed to say it because, you know, shit happens and, you know, we learn from it, so that car, I was kind of glad it got repoed because, I think I was about 21 or 20 when I bought that car, and I didn't try to get it for cheaper. Like, my dumbass was just like, yeah, sure, I'll get it. Like, like that. Like, I was going into a store buying a purse. Like, oh, only $19? Sure. So, I'm not going to say the exact amount I bought from for the car for because I can't remember. Um, but I had it for about maybe almost a year. Or, no, maybe, like, not even a year. Like, maybe, like, six months or something like that. And I... Got a repo, obviously. Um, I got behind on the payments, and then when we had the money, like, um, they didn't want to 
they said like oh too late basically so i was like whatever the payments were like 500 dollars i think or something like that which was a lot at the time because my husband was only like a i think he was like a corporal or something so he didn't really make shit i mean he still don't make shit but it was a lot and we paid like we lived off base at the time and our rent alone was like 1800 for a three three-story townhome plus bills plus you know we were young we like to spend money and you know all of that stuff so actually when that car got repoed i was kind of relieved because that was like 500 something dollars plus the 100 we paid like around 700 for that for the insurance and the car total um we paid like 700 for that car that car was not worth 700 dollars um and especially because we were um young i had to pay like more for insurance so it was like 160 dollars or 180 for insurance which is ridiculous um so yeah so then that happened um but like i said i was like a little bit relieved because i didn't have to pay that 500 dollars totally messed that up um so it was like whatever so with this car um i guess i mean i mean i'm gonna keep it real with you guys because i don't really care about numbers and stuff i know a lot of youtubers don't like to say how much they spend on things or whatever but it's like everybody does it and i feel like all of you guys that are watching are like my friends i don't feel like you guys are my subscribers i feel like we're friends so it's like it would just be as if i'm like talking to my friends you know so um we bought that car off the lot for 40 um they were trying to make me pay a 900 dollars car payment a month i was like but no so i did bargain with the monthly price so we ended up settling because our credit was bad and then we also had um a repo on on my credit on our credit obviously because i was the owner of the last car that got repoed but my husband was the co-signer so either way it still messed up both of our credit obviously so I thought, I'm like, okay, 800, what was it, 853, that was our car payment. I was like, okay, that's not bad. It's like, say 400 each paycheck. I'm like, that's nothing, because it really wasn't. I thought that was affordable, considering, you know, we had to pay all that. So, with our insurance and then the car payment, it was like 1000 a month. Okay, that's a lot of money for a car. So, it was 1000 a month to pay for that car and for the, um, uh, for the insurance included and still to this day i regret not fighting for the price because i drove that car off the lot um it being forty thousand, and i mean they did take off discounts but by the time i forgot about like taxes and all that stuff like you know it still equaled out to like 45 um it would have been 45 but it equaled out to 40 flat because of the discounts as you say they would have got so i mean the car salesman obviously he made a killing off that um, I, I was just so like unprepared is what I'm trying to get at that I didn't really try to bargain at all which I guess that was my fault for being like a dumbass because I should have been prepared but like I said we were supposed to go to the damn zoo not to buy a new car and honestly if I were to rotate back in time or like rewind back in time I would have not got the car that I have um, I do have a Jeep Grand Cherokee uh, 2017 um, and I love my car, don't get me wrong, I love it. Um, I definitely am grateful and thankful that we were even able to get that car, even though we got ripped off. Um, but at the same time, um, I would have gotten like an Explorer. Like I really have always wanted a three row. And you know, I want to eventually expand our family later on and we always have friends that have kids and stuff like that, especially when they come to visit us in Hawaii, they always have to get rental cars. So obviously if we have that third row we're gonna have more seats you know and you know i plan on being like a soccer mom and a baseball mom and a cheer mom and all that so it's like if i need to carpool i'm gonna have room for other kids you know so it would just been smarter because i wouldn't have felt bad paying 40 50 60 thousand dollars for a car that had that many seats you know but here i am paying forty thousand for a seat that only has five you know what i'm saying so Either way, we ended up walking out with a new car, and um, we actually just refinanced, so I'm super grateful because our car payment is way lower than $800, so we no longer pay $800, but we did pay $800, like $1,000 a month for a whole entire year and a half, so we finally refinanced, which I'm so grateful for, um, 
we got super lucky so now I'm comfortable paying the amount that we're paying now for the Jeep I mean it's still a lot for a car payment um, which I mean I could have probably got a Range Rover for the price I paid for this damn car plus 20 grand so yeah so I obviously didn't learn from the first time I got my first car because I didn't research and I didn't take the time yes stop calling me um, and I didn't take the time to research or anything like that so it's really annoying <laughs> Um, my husband keeps calling me. He's so annoying. And he's in the other room. So, yeah. So, that is the story of how I got this new car. Um, I'm actually going to be filming a car tour and a, um, what is it? A car tour and organization video especially if you have kids so you don't want to miss out on it um make sure you guys are following my instagram and my snapchat because i've been posting a lot on there i said i'm very grateful so i don't want to sound like a spoiled brat or anything like that which i'm very grateful and thankful that we were able to get a new car because um you know obviously growing up I, my mom had this beat up little Honda. I was actually very embarrassed when she would come to pick me up from school. I would tell her never to go through the pickup line because for some reason, well, let's 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 be fair. I did go to a school that was a lot of rich people. Um, it was a rich people school, so um, obviously I wasn't even supposed to go to that school. I was actually supposed to go to like a like not so rich school. It's kind of like the ghetto school in my city where I grew up so technically I was supposed to go to that school but I had issues with a lot of girls there which that could be a whole nother story but I used to be like you know thinking I was like a little gangbanger back in the day yeah I was so embarrassing so stupid I'm not proud of it but you know we all go through phases um but yeah so I had a lot of problems with a lot of girls there and plus my best friend at the time um, she was going to that school also because of the same just issues. I wasn't trying to go to school to just to get expelled, you know what I'm saying? So me and her ref um, re uh, requested to be sent to a different school, which I'm grateful for because um, it would have been a hot mess if we had got sent to that other school. Um, so I'm actually thankful. But um, yeah, so back to my story. I always get like sidetracked. Do you guys ever do that? Um... So then, yeah, so I wasn't, I would always be embarrassed and I would tell my mom, oh, just go, I'll walk to the field, like just park, like park over there and then I would just walk over there. So every day I would have to like sit there and go walk like far as shit just so that nobody would see my mom's car. And then like, yeah, I don't know. And now that I think about it and I think about how stupid it was, but it's like, you know, that's why I'm so grateful like that's why I try to teach my kids like to be grateful for what you have because all the stuff that my kids have I didn't have when I was young because my mom was a single mom so I try to tell like you know my daughter when she's over there complaining because I won't get her a new Shopkin or my son wants a freaking spider or a dinosaur and I'm like no you don't need it like you know you don't need to get something every time we go somewhere like for instance today my son threw a huge fit in Target and it was so embarrassing. He was like screaming bloody murder. Like, and all these people are like looking at me like, damn, like control your kid. But it's like, don't act like your kids never acted like that, you know? Like this one lady, it was funny because this one lady, all her kids were older. She had like four boys. Excuse me. She had four boys. And when my son was acting a fool, you know, she was like looking at me and kind of giving me that look, like kind of like control your kid type of look. And then um, the next out over, I hear her yelling at her kids. <laughs> So I'm like, oh, you freaking judgmental ass bitch. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like at least I'm not mean. Like, I wasn't sitting there screaming at my kids, but she's over there telling her all her boys to shut up. I'm like, really? But okay. People are so judgy over here, I swear. They, they act like, like, my son is three. Like, do you expect a three-year-old to behave the whole time in a store that he does not want to be in? Obviously not. He's going to act up, you know? But I was actually proud of myself because normally I get really frustrated and I'm not going to lie, I will yell at him and tell him to be quiet. And then I'll start getting really frustrated or I'll just leave the store and leave all my stuff there. But I was actually very proud of myself because I held my composure. 
um, I let him cry it out because like I said he wanted to get a spider and I wouldn't get it for him um, so he threw a damn fit he's like obsessed with Halloween and keep in mind his dad just bought him like like 30 or 40 dollar play sets like two of them in the past like week and a half so homeboy did not need any more toys and I told him to wait because it's not even Halloween yet but I am obviously gonna get him the stupid spider but not when he's acting like that you know I told him just to wait because he already had gotten some toys um, and he just, homeboy didn't want to wait, so, yeah, so I was like, okay, like, you know, I waited for him to calmly, you know, chill, and then once he started, like, like, he worked himself up, you guys, so, oh, he worked himself up so good that his ass was, like, hyperventilating, like, <laughs> like, he couldn't even breathe, like, you know how your kids get like that, like, they just get so worked up over something so little and they like can't even catch their breath like that's how he was in the store and yeah I felt bad but at the same time like he doesn't need to be acting like that you know like yes he is three but I do teach my kids discipline and there is never uh there's never a too early or too late to teach your kids discipline you know that's just the way I parent um I don't expect everybody to understand or to agree or to parent that I the way I do but I that's how I parent um, so my kids will know at an early age um, how to be respectful and not to act like that. So obviously he was throwing a fit. So I told him in the beginning of the, um, of the store trip, I told him, I said, if you behave, I will get you something. But then I said, if you cry or if you get upset that you're not getting stuff, I was like, then you're not going to get anything. And so, you know, unfortunately he had to act up. So his ass didn't get nothing. And... I am definitely not one of those moms who are like, okay, here, just have it. No, nope. not when he's starting to fit like that in the store. Nope, I will not do that. I mean, sometimes at home I do. If I'm trying to get something done and he just won't stop, I'll just be like, okay, here, just go sit down, have it. But most of the time I tell him like, you know what, no, you're not going to act like that. And then reward, you know, you're rewarding them if they're, if they're you know, doing that. So, yeah. So he let through a fit, and I was very calm. I calmly explained to him, you know, like, remember when mommy told you earlier not to be naughty, and if you were a good boy, then you got a toy. And he said, yes. And I said, okay. And I said, well, I said, you were a bad boy. I said, so you are not going to be getting a spider today. And, you know, obviously he was kind of upset, so I picked him up, and I held him, and I just told him, like, you know, calm down take a breath I said it's okay I said stop getting upset and I was just holding him you know cuddling him telling him just to lay down so he could catch his breath and finally he eventually did he you know he cried a few more times because he kept asking about the spider during the target trip but eventually he got over it and he stopped crying um so that was a proud moment for me because normally I lose my shit but I didn't so you know that was my little story time for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I am going to uh, end this mukbang for here. I'm going to finish my food up. But I think this is a long enough mukbang for you guys. Um, so I hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you guys want more mukbangs from me, then please uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And... Um, don't forget to follow me on my social media if you guys haven't or don't already. Um, they are listed down below. Um, I'm mostly on my Snapchat and my Instagram. I'm on Twitter here and there, but not as much as the other two. Um, I'm mostly on Snapchat the most. Uh, I don't know. Do you guys still use Snapchat? Let me know in the comments down below if you guys use Snapchat or if you use Instagram stories more. Because um, I kind of want to get a feel on where most of my um, friends are at, you know. Because y'all are my friends. So where you all guys are at and yeah um if you guys do follow me then i will go ahead and like a few of your pictures but um i kind of try to don't follow people back only because um i like to follow my close friends and family and you know obviously you know on instagram story because of the new feeds or the new algorithm i can't see any of my own um family stuff if i follow everybody so but i will show you guys love and i will like some of your stuff um but you won't get a follow back or maybe you will i don't know just depends if i like your content or not um so yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and until next time i will see you guys in my next video bye